Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use HTML list. So this is an example for HTML list. Here we have different types of list like ordered list, unordered list, and description list or definition list. So here the output is there. For this output, we are going to write the coding HTML code. So here you can see the line is there it is called as horizontal line or horizontal ruler HR and the types of vegetable here you can see the size of it so it should be like H1 and then followed by ordered list and then followed by an horizontal line and then followed by H1 types of vegetable and this one is unordered list how can I identify it's an ordered list or unordered list if you have bullets then it is an unordered list if you have numbers or uh, letters or roman numbers whatever it may be if it is ordered list is ordered or if list is sorted out it is called as ordered list so in order to write the html code we want to open notepad so just open the notepad so type html and close the HTML and inside the HTML you are in need of head tag and inside head tag you want to open the title let us say example for HTML lists and close the title tag so and then close the head tag and open the body tag close the body tag this is the usual syntax what we do with HTML so now this is an output so first one you need an horizontal line so if you need an horizontal line you want to use HR so first I'm going to save it in order to check the output so go to file save as I'm going to save it in desktop let us say example one dot HTML so dot HTML is an extension for HTML file and save as type just click on save as type and select all files and save now we will open example one dot HTML So where you can see a line, it's an horizontal line. How it comes? Because we have used HR and then followed by we are in need of heading. So what is the heading? Types of vegetables. So I'm going to use H1 to make it bigger. So let us say types of vegetables. types of vegetables we'll check the output okay so save it and we'll check okay you can see the types of vegetable but it is in center so when you need it in center so just go to the properties inside h1 let us say align equal to center now you can see it's in center so after this we need a line so if you need this line what do you want to use you want to use HR horizontal line or horizontal ruler so I'm going to use HR I'm going to check the output yes good now what is the next one I want to use ordered list so how to use ordered list so I'm going to use OL so ordered list and close the OL good and then I want to list the items use LI then followed by leafy green and close the LI 
and followed by Li Crucifers and close the Li and I'm going to open one more Li and then I'm going to type root I'm going to close Li now I'm going to check the output Good. now you can see type of each table it's a leafy green and then roots and everything is there crucifers roots leafy greens are there okay good and next I'm going for types of vegetarian foods so you can check after this you need an uh, horizontal line if you need an horizontal line what I want to use good we want to use HR good and then followed by I'm going to use H1 because by seeing the size of this header you can able to predict or identify it should be H1 types of vegetarian food it's an types of vegetarian foods and close H1 so again where you need you need in center so align make it center so we'll check the output yes good now you can see the types of vegetarian food so again I'm going to use unordered list so here one two three is there but here one two three is there good it's a type of vegetarian food what is this lacto vegetarian peso vegetarian and semi vegetarian okay so unordered list you will type ul and close ul and then followed by li list item and whatever you want to type blah 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 you can type right here and close the li in order to save the time I'm going to cut copy paste then I'm going to change it. the same pesco vegetarian and then the semi whatever you need you can change and then save it and we can check right here yeah good we got the same output and then after this what you need you need an horizontal line good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one more HR in order to get an horizontal line yes good and let me see, see the output next we want to say types of milk products so again I'm going to use one more H1 let us say align align equal to center and then what you want to type you want to type types of milk products and H1 let me check the output yes check out the spelling yes now it's okay and now we are going for definition list DL close the DL and you want to open the DT so you want to type condensed milk So close DT and then we'll use DD. So what is it? 
steam milk which has been I'll check concentrated by evaporation concentrated by evaporation okay just close the DD and again I'm going to one more DT so definition and this time I'm going to use cheese and then close the DT and then open DD data or definition so so produced by coagulating milk so whatever you can change you can change no problem and close DD so now we will check out so now you can see it's in condensed milk the milk which has been concentrated by evaporation so cheese is a product of coagulating milk so this is a way where you want to use HTML list so what is this how do you get this line if you want to get this line you want to use HR and the types of which table I've used H1 and followed by H HR and this one is an ordered list if you want to change the type of ordered list let us say I will change the type let us say I need small a you can change so you can see ABC small one if you need our capital ABC you can change see as well as you can change on order list also let us say the type equal to square see now the bullets has been changed to square so in this way you can able to use the HTML list I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you bye